I was born to Cuban parents, raised in Miami, Florida, and then we moved to Waynesville, North Carolina, population 10,000 people. And to this day, I have no idea why. Welcome back. Time right now, 5.52. He is a chef, a childhood obesity prevention coach, and now a reality show star. Andre Guillama, no doubt, from Mendy's Bakery in Selva, joins us this morning to show off some of his work and talk about his time on the Food Network. Great to have you here. Awesome. Great to be here. Yes. Thanks for coming in. Tell us. I mean, a lot of people watch this show. We were talking the commercial break that it's really been on for 10, 12 seasons, we think. How did you get involved in this? Well, it's funny because uh, you see people get on the show and you think that basically just professionals can get on. And then I found out there was just a very easy application process. And I figured, well, why not? And I filled out the application and then I got a call back. And of 5,000 people, it's not bad to be one in 12. Absolutely. No. So tell us about the experience there. How stressful was it? It was extremely stressful to see people competing against you that have been on Iron Chef, beat right. Bobby Flay, things right. like that. You know, it is, it is stressful to be in that environment, but it's just nice to be there, nice to be chosen amongst these great chefs and great personalities. And I told you I'm a big fan of the show and I've been watching all season long. Um, I know something they really talk about the point of view and they really wanted you to focus on, you lost a ton of weight. I did. Talk to us about that and about your, um, what else you do for, to help kids, especially locally. Well, I grew up, uh, I made it all the way to 330 pounds by the time I was around 18, and now I'm at about 185, and I can understand that it's difficult wow. for kids to grow up uh, that heavy. So here in Asheville, I've served as an, a childhood obesity coach for the YMCA, helping kids learn healthy habits to ideally never make it to where I was. That is absolutely fascinating. Do you wish you had talked about that more on the show? I mean, that wasn't my main objective going into the show, but I now see how I could have been a perfect advocate for that, you know, having okay. lost as much weight as I have. So you said now you do that on a case-by-case -case basis still, but you're running Mindy's. Yes, Tell us a little about In Silva. This smells amazing. What, what's your passion now? What do you do these days? Well, like right now, I basically, my parents kind of had a little bakery and we got together and I figured why not? So we opened this place together and it's kind of like a little bakery sandwich shop and where we're bringing classic Cuban dishes to Silver, North Carolina, or Western North Carolina. Tell us about this real quick. This is a medianoche, which is a, uh, translates to a midnight sandwich because it's uh, particularly popular after night. I mean, after 12 o'clock at night, after a few microbrews and things like that <laughs> in Cuba, you know, and I figured it'd be perfect here for Asheville. Yeah, it differs from the traditional Cuban. It does, it does, because it's a special bread. It's a sweeter bread, similar in taste to challah. And it okay. actually is ham, Swiss cheese, uh, our roasted mojo pork, yellow mustard, and pickles. All right, so you can check that out. And so they can come meet you, right? They can. And they then, can. again, he's all a the time. big star now. He you can is. Google him. You get lots of pictures of you That's when you right. pull it up. I've Googled myself. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> and they're there. He's like, I know it. You're going to join us again coming up in the next hour. We've got more questions. If you have some questions for him, give us those on Facebook. Go to WLOS.com right. or WLOS's Facebook page. Ask us um, what you want to know, and we'll, we'll find out from the star here. Master Chef himself. Thanks for being here. Thank you. We'll Thank be right you for having me. I was born to Cuban parents, raised in Miami, Florida, and then we moved to Waynesville, North Carolina, population 10,000 people. And to this day, I have no idea why. Welcome back. Time right now, 651. One of the contestants to become the next Food Network star is from right here in the mountains. That's right. Joining us right now is reality contestant and chef Andre Guillama, who's from Waynesville. Andre was on the reality show Food Network Stars, and he runs Mindy's Bakery in Silva. We are so glad to have you this morning. Glad to be here. We've been picking your brain all yeah. morning long about everything that is Food Network. So now we want to know, you got to meet a lot of the stars that our viewers can identify with. I mean, Bobby Flay, Alton Brown, Robert Irvine, you said, Giada. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about them. I have to say that meeting them was... Uh I mean, it's, a, it's like anybody would imagine. You're meeting someone that you're accustomed to seeing There's on TV three of the four, every day. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and it was like, I was in awe at first. Like, it's like, I'm so happy to meet you and this and that. And, you know, you want to tell them these things, but there's so many people that want to meet them, you know, so they're really busy and things like that. But uh, they're exactly the way you think they'd be. Like, Alton's really witty, and then Giada is really sweet, but at the same time, she's got, like, a little bit of a sassiness to her. And then, like, Robert Irvine's this you know, big, intimidating dude. And is he Bob, really in yeah, person? Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, he's about my size, and he's, like, you know, stocky, of course, so he's a yeah. little bit intimidating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Bobby's just a really nice guy. He's a really down-to-earth guy. You said you like Bobby the best out of everybody that you I met. did. I did. Like I, like I said, I really uh, appreciate, like, a genuine personality, and then he just comes off as super genuine to me, like, he's really real. So well, I really like Well, you came him. off as very genuine on the show as well. Yeah, like, I mean, like, 
like I said, it's, that is a quality that I really value, and I wanted the like the viewers to see that I wasn't a uh, just like some guy trying to get famous. Like I, this is who I am every day, right. you know. And I want you to meet Andre. And you're passionate about this. Were you surprised you were voted off so early? I was. I was surprised because I mean, don't get me wrong. I tell people that who I cook for to criticize me harshly, like. Give me all the criticism you can give me because it's not going to make me any better if you fluff it. But right. at the same time, it was so like so negative so fast that it kind of <laughs> just blew me off, and it just like I was just doomed from the beginning. But now you've actually gotten all this experience. You have a restaurant now in Silva. I do. Tell us a little bit about that. It is a joint venture with my parents, and they had a bakery, and I brought the food to the table. My parents are from Cuba, so we decided to bring uh, traditional Cuban dishes to Western North Carolina. Uh, considering there aren't many options for that in this area. Mindy's. Mindy's. And yes. what is this right here? And this is a medianoche, which is similar to a Cuban sandwich, only on a sweet bread similar to hala, with our mojo roasted pork, ham, Swiss cheese, yellow mustard, and pickles. And real quick, the journey for you is not over, so people can come meet you, and you're, you're flying back out. The season finale has not happened yet. No, it is not. There's not been a winner chosen. It's not filled in advance. Uh, in August, I fly out to New York for the season finale. Now, are you going to give us your prediction of who's going to win the whole thing for folks that are following the season? My personal prediction and hope is that Rodney would win. All right. Rod, style. I was a little surprised by that. That is. Yeah. Okay. He's a super sweet guy, and uh, if anybody deserves it, I think it's him. Well, we have loved having okay. you on this morning. Thanks so much. Uh, thank Please you for having me. Go it's and see fun. him. Meet yeah. the star out in Silva.